Well, here we will see how Xamarin actually works or what is the underlying architecture of Xamarin native and Xamarin form based applications. So this first block relates to Xamarin traditional approach. So here we have a shared backend code or some code responsible to send HTTP request and to consume response and then in traditional Xamarin approach each platform is having its own UI component like iOS will be having its separate UI layer and Red will be having its separate and similarly for Windows apps as well but this is not the same in case of Xamarin forms in Xamarin forms what advantages we are having is one of the advantages that even our UI code is also shared now not only our entire business logic and data access logic and a logic responsible to consume web services is shared but also the logic to display list box to display buttons or drop downs or any other visible UI control on the screen is also shared although in some exceptional cases we would also needing some platform specific UI in the form of a concept known as custom renders. So what custom renders do? Custom renders help us to export platform specific UI to the Xamarin form portable project so that the same code behaves differently on each platform why because we already have written custom renders for those specific platforms later we'll see what are the different tools we will be needing to create xamarin form based application well if i'm doing ios app development then mac machine is a must have we cannot do ios development on a windows machine or on a linux machine and on a max machine xcode and ios sdk must be pre-installed similarly for android app development we can do android development either on windows machine or on mac os machine and it needs android sdk to be pre-installed while for universal windows app development this is possible only on windows machine we cannot create windows phone or windows 10 desktop applications on our mac systems and for the same we also need windows 10 sdk to be installed on our windows 10 machines so these are the required sdks and required operating systems but above them in terms of integrated development environment will be also needing Xamarin Studio on Mac or Xamarin Studio or Visual Studio on Windows right so if I'm doing iOS development then I'll be needing my Visual Studio to be connected to some Mac machine on the network so that my Visual Studio can fire commands to Mac to and request Mac to compile the code right because my iOS SDK is installed on my Mac machine not on my Windows machine but for Android development this is possible from either on Xamarin Studio on Mac or Xamarin Studio on Windows or even Visual Studio on Windows yes you can do Android development right inside from Visual Studio and even on Windows no other Mac or Linux needs to be connected and for windows app development it is fairly simple all you need is just windows 10 sdk and visual studio installed and you'll be able to very easily write your windows 10 application so these are the set of requirements for each type of application development 